Okay, now that my geometry, my breadboard's done, I'm going to go to the toolpathing portion of it. The order of this toolpath is pretty important. i got to do my blood groove first, on my board held down, then my hole, then the cutout. So I'm going to go to the toolpath with the contour. I need to name this one. I'll call this blood groove. And I'm going to select it with the chain. It's going clockwise. Uh, I'm going to select the tool. I'm going to use a quarter inch ball end mill. I'm going to go, it's a feed rate of 60 and a plunge rate of 30. Save those settings. Holder, nothing. Cut parameters. Actually, I want that thing off so that my bit goes centered on that line. Depth of cut. I don't need that here, but I will later. Lead in, lead outs off. Breakthrough, multi-passes tabs, linking parameters. Here I set the depth in negative point one five. Okay, and that is my first tool path. I'm gonna create a second tool path, a contour as well, where I cut out the hole. This time I'm gonna go counterclockwise. That circle's going counterclockwise. I'm gonna change the bit here. I'm going to use a quarter inch flat end mill, so a quarter inch straight bit. Again, the feed rate of 60, plunge rate of 30. Save those settings. Holder, nothing. It Kept parameter. Going counterclockwise. So that's going to put the bit inside, and that's where I want it. Depth of cuts, very important. I select this, and I don't cut out too much wood at a pass. I'm going to put that at point 0.2. Save that setting. Lead in, lead outs off. And then my linking parameters is the thickness of the wood. Don't forget a negative, 0.77, say. So it goes through. It's my second tool path. And then finally, my third one. Again, is a contour with a chain. I'm going to select a quarter inch flat end mill. The big difference in this tool path is I'm going to go clockwise. Oh, I missed something there. Tool path, contour, and a chain. Oh, I didn't click it. Then I click it. It's going clockwise. And then my tool is a quarter inch straight end mill at a feed rate of 60, plunge rate uh, 30. Save those settings. Holder, cut parameters. I'm going clockwise, so my bit will be outside. That's what I want. Depth of cuts is set. It's good. Lead in, lead out. Breakthrough, multi-passes, tabs. And again, that's a good setting. So there it is. All my tool pathing is done. I go to verify, isometric view, fit screen. Let me slow it down a little bit, make sure it looks good. First, it cuts my, oops. I'll show you what I did here. This is my cutout, which looks right, but it skipped the other ones. The reason why that happened is this is the only one checked. I need all three of them checked, so I check all three of them. I verify. Cuts my blood groove first. That's good. Cuts my hole. Then cuts the board out. So the board will stay down through my first operations and then finally get cut out. Yeah, so that looks good. Okay, so I verified it. I want to save my file. File, save. And then I save it under my name. And then the other thing I want to do is I want to post it. And posting it, I'm going to post this to my desktop and then to my flash drive. Okay, what this does right here is is it takes all of this vector information and converts it to numeric code. So here's a numeric code. This is an NC file. Techno reads NC, reads these codes, versus my actual file is a master cam file. Okay, so that's toolpathing the breadboard. Uh, the next video will be running it.